everlasting life. This bread is my body. My deliverance shall happen here. and sisters in the Hebrew way this is Ionai New Year March 20th all of those signs the trinity of signs but the overarching signs is that for Ionai Black Israel and for the righteous among the nations this is our time and our season we're entering into the season of liberation, of charut, right? the season of liberation, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, the blood moon coming forward. And I thought I said New Year. And it's like you already know that this is our New Year, but we get caught up a lot of times into a lot of the traditions. Am I getting caught up in some of those traditions? We miss the real baraka, the barakat of I and I, of of I and I, Father. So, in linking the, the new moon, this is the Rosh Chodashim, and also known as the Shabbat Ha Chodesh, which is the Sabbath that immediately precedes, right? The Sabbath that immediately precedes. And now that is, that corresponds with. Um, the new year. This is what is so very interesting, brothers and sisters. So, you know, um, no wonder many ones um, can recognize that this is this is these are some special signs that that the way, the truth, and the life of the King of Kings and Hamoshia Yeshua is being is being proven. Not just to I and I, not to, to, to those of us of the Amuna of the faith. I mean, it's being affirmed and even um, I affirmed among I and I, right? But even among those in the world, because the only explanation for these heavenly signs is the way, the truth, and the life of I and I, Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's the only explanation brothers and sisters so look at this correspondence right here we have the so-called super moon right this uh super moon sign now there was the on the beginning of our holy new year see a lot of people say well the jewish new year or the hebrew new year it's it's september that's the civil that's the civil new year yahweh said that this shall be the beginning right of months for us right so let's look at some of the signs of this super moon sign right here right what they call this from moon to super moon right the usual phases of the moon not, not getting into all of that but now remember the the hebrew new month begins with the sighting of the moon so we have um, we have the solar eclipse, you know, that's what you see right there in the animation right there, part of the solar eclipse. Then you have the spring or vernal equinox, also within this same 12 to 24 hour time. And then you have the super moon, where the moon is extraordinarily large, and that 
begins. These signs all converge at the beginning of our high holy year, right? Of the of the Moedim, um, Yahweh Eloheinu, the Moedim of Yahweh, of Jah, of he who be who he be, right? It's the glory of the Moshe Yeshua. Now the next, what was interesting is that the next uh, super moon is actually the 28th of September. Now, that's around Sukkot, right around the time of the final blood moon. So so you have to put all these things together right here, but I wanted just to say a couple of words about we've entered into the season of Black Israel's liberation. And I mean, I really see this, this, this might seem crazy to ones and ones. People say, well, you know, it all goes on as it always went on. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at this right here when we're talking about this uh, total eclipse right here. Let's see if we can get this a little bit larger so you can so you can see this a little bit larger. OK, here we go right here. OK, here's what's going on right here. All right. All right. We have a black planet. But look at this right here. Total eclipse. March 20th, 2015. Now, what does that correspond with? That corresponds with this, this 24, this 24th Torah portion, reading and feeding, entering into the Sefer HaKohanim, into the handbook of the priest, right, of uh, Leviticus. Now, there's a lot to believe, um, you know, connect right here, but let's just look at it like this, and I'm going to um, draw liberally from Hebrew for Christians, what Hebrew for Christians put it up on their website, where they mention that, okay, this is Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Now, Nisan is the later name for the month of Aviv or Abib, which comes from the ancient Ethiopic Ababa, which means to spring forward when the crops spring. So it's new, it's Chodesh, Chadesh, Chadasa, Chadesh, Chodesh. It is Addis. Right, it's new. Addis Ababa. Let's, let, 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 let's understand now. The world it runs on a clock that operates under assumptions that are different than those revealed in the scriptures. Right. So it's not the way the natural man. Right. Not the way the natural man would perceive it. Right. Not the way the natural man would perceive it. So we can't look at it from the natural man or the natural mind, but from the spiritual mind, right? So Rosh Chodesh, the new head or the head new, speaking of the new moon. Now the world has a different clock, right? So you have to come out of Babylon, come out of that confusion, right? Um, towards Zion, towards salvation in Yeshua's name. Now, the wisdom of this world is the prevailing um, counterfeit spirit, right? Um, cult, a kind of a cult, a, a pressing spirit that um, suppresses humanity, but really it's suppressing the reality of Ha Elohim, right? Of Jah, Arastafari's presence and the truth. Now, such wisdom. Right is regarded as foolishness before Elohim. Right, this is why they're they're freaking out, wondering like, what what do all these signs mean? I mean, how can all these things it has happened? Like in some say some of the signs haven't happened in hundreds of years, sixteen sixty five. Others say since the, the thousands of years, hundreds of thousands. I mean, how would they know? But they say that. But these corresponding at this time in a blood moon in the second portion of a double portion makpelah of a blood moon season right with israel the true bait israel the lost black sheep of the house of israel and that remnant right finding themselves finding yeshua finding themselves in yeshua ha moshiach so the wisdom of the world right such wisdom is regarded as foolishness before jah right and jah has promised what has Jah promised to I and I? To seize, to, to grab, to, to snatch them, to seize the so-called wise, the worldly wise, in their own craftiness. So, Black Israel, this is our season, right? We're in our season 
of liberation, right? But now the life of faith, on the other hand, this is the key for we, right? It sees what is not visible. It's learning how to see what is not visible, or at least what's not visible from the world flesh and the death perspective. Faith, which we call emuna in the Hebrew and imnet, the amarinya, right? Emuna, it apprehends the, the substance of things that are hoped for, that are expected. It's the assurance, right? The assurance, the conviction, the correction, the argument, right? The, the takachot, the takachot, right? Of things not seen. Right of things not seen, Hebrews 11 and 1. As it is written, the heart of faith. What does the heart of faith, right? What does the heart of faith look for? It doesn't look on the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. Even though I know this is a, a, a blood moon season, I'm not particularly running out there, got to see it, but because I recognize it in the word. Right? I recognize in the scripture and in the spirit, he gives I and I the spirit to see it right with the spirit and to overstand in the word and to prepare I and I hearts and I and I minds. Sure, I would mind looking at it, but this is a this is a manifestation, this testimony from the word right here that the heart of faith looks not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are transient. So the moon and the, this sign, that sign will go. But what are these signs? What clock? See, it's not the clock of the world. Didn't really expect these things so much until very recently. You see what I'm saying? So for the things that are seen are transient. But the things that are unseen are eternal. Faith, even I and I faith in the King of Kings in Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, overcomes the world. So... The beginning of the biblical year, the Rosh Chodashim, brothers and sisters, has begun. In this time, 2015, March 20th, 2015, the sundown, that time so-called sundown, marked the beginning of our high holy year and Black Israel's season of liberation, an appointed time, beginning Friday, March 20th at sundown. Nissan 1 or Aviv 1, what they, they call it 5775, 5775. You see the mirror even in the number there. Now, look for the first sign of the waxing crescent later this week, brothers and sisters. Chavarim, Wondermoch. There should be a sign of a, of a waxing, um, that means increasing crescent later in this, um, later, later in this uh, Shavua, right? Um, spring definitely is in the air. Now, now is the time to prepare for Pesach. Now is the time to prepare for Fasika, for that Metasebia, that memorial, right? Both in him bringing our ancestors out of Mitzrayim. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.